I think um, the graduates here and the 97 in the total who have passed through this program represent the potential to arrest the critical challenge facing women's movements, not only in Belize, but across the Caribbean. And our young ladies need to know that you are coming up in a very challenging time where it's a matter of one step forward and two step backwards when it comes to the whole matter of increasing women's role in decision making, which is a right and a responsibility that we have. I had come here thinking that when Jamaican women first got the vote in 1919, small grouping of women, that when Jamaica, that we were at the forefront of things, only to come here last night to hear that women actually got the vote, a section of the women's movement, in 1912, which is wonderful. I had come to Jamaica from the land of Marcus Garvey, thinking that all women in the Garvey movement were anti-colonial women, until I found that the Black Cross nurses of, of Belize were more reformist. And so I go back, I, I, one is always learning. But they did a tremendous job in trying to build social services across the country in, in, in collaboration with other organizations like the Honduran um, Federation of Women.